so NDL surface and call it the uh, uh, text and make it equal to uh, not FDL TTF TTF render text and it will be solid. Okay, so the first parameter is the font, the second is the text we want to draw. Actually, we have to convert it first to a uh, you know char uh, array. So uh, I use the sprintf function again. First, we I declare a char c5 and uh, I use the sprintf. The first is this character uh, array, the second is what uh, the uh, how do we uh, so the hmm, how does it call the you know that thing. So the format of the a string and the, the last is uh, the number. So player one one dot get points like that. And then I just simple write the C in here and the last parameter is the color. Okay, I do the same thing with the other player. So I just player two and actually that's all change we need to do except we have to blit it to the screen. So SDL blit surface and the first is where do we want to bleed? We want to bleed in the screen. The second is what part of the text do we want to bleed? We want the entire. Okay, the third is a rectangle. Where do we want to put it? Uh, no, the. So, sorry. And start to get tired. So, text. The third parameter is the source, so the screen. And the last parameter is where do we want to put it inside the screen. So, we have to create an SDL rect for that. SDL rect PMP. And, and make it equal to. In case of the first player, 10 as an X and 0 as a Y, maybe. We will see it that is it good or not. So the address of TMP. Okay, and now we have to make the second. So we just use the bleed surface again and change the TMP. So TMP dot X equals to uh, width minus uh, 40. And the Y is main 0. Okay, and uh, and basically that's it I guess so I just check one thing did I put a semicolon after the color initialization? nope okay so now we can try to compile it and run it oh the last thing we have to uh, you know free the surface of the text so SDL free surface text oh what am I doing so we just free the text and uh, quit from the TTF so TTF it and the last thing is to close the front ttf close font okay uh, did anything remains i don't think so so uh, yep we, we just changed the surface not redeclare it okay now we can compile the program and don't forget to use the lsdl ttf uh, flag and now we can try to run the program. As you can see, in in default it was write zero, but it write one zero because one you know it's okay one one. And as you can see, it is just increasing the numbers. Okay, so we can wait and wait and wait here. Okay, basically that was it. Now I plan to add the music to it, so let's do it. Okay, this tutorial will be the longest one, maybe, probably, possible, possibly. Okay, and uh, you have, we have to include a new header file for that, so sdl slash sdl mixer dot h. Okay, this is our mixer, so we will we use that to uh, for the music and uh, initialize it after the TTS. So uh, mix uh, open audio. The first is the frequency, so okay. The second is the format. We use the default, so as the yeah. What am I doing? Mix default format. Okay. The next one is uh, the channel. We want it as the stereo, and the last uh, parameter is the chunk size. Uh, we use four hundred, four thousand and ninety-six. This is two power to eleven. I guess no twelve. Okay. Uh, that's it. We open the audio. We have to define a few new things here, like uh, mix music, uh, call it music, and uh, oh, this is a pointer as well. And uh, we have a mix chunk, and we call it uh, chunk. Oh, we call it effect. This is easier to remember. Okay, and load the music. Music equals to 
is mix load web load actually load news load web we use for the effect and we use this ha uh, hagbeat thing I guess that's what it's called so yeah I have a hagbeat.web file here so hagbeat.wave that's it and I load the effect if I am here so effect equals to mix load wave and this will be the bass drum one dot wave simple enough we just load the things that we need so the two music effect okay uh, we start to play the music so mix uh, play music the first parameter is the music and the second how much do we want to uh, repeat it we want to repeat it until we stop the program so I press minus one okay so the music is playing and the effect is loaded so go to the end of the program and don't forget to free these so uh, mix free new music music and mix free chunk and uh, effect okay and mix close audio okay so I just close everything which we open so there we, we will not have memory leaks so I can make a comment here uh, the init okay the initialize everything okay so you just initialize everything in here okay so the music is playing already so if I start the program in theory after I uh, make the few errors so L S D L we have to use the new common life flag as you can see I forget it here and here as well so I get a lot of undefined reference so uh, we use the mixer L S D L mixer and it is uh, okay and now we can run the program okay you may not hear it but it uh, uh, play a music although uh, I want to play the effect whenever it whenever there is a collision with the pedal so okay for that I have to give this uh, effect pointer so this mix chunk pointer to the move function because the move will examine the collision so I can uh, play it there okay I have to go to the logic and in, and in here so the ball dot move I have to press the third parameter which will be the effect okay I have to change the ball definition so the move is with a mix chunk pointer and we have to include the new header file so include sdl slash sdl mixer dot h because as it will not know what the mix chunk is right okay and we have to change it in here so the actual uh, so in here so go to the move and pass this parameter mix chunk call it effect okay and if there is a collision so if collision as you can see I just write the mix play channel okay the first parameter is what channel do we want to play we want to uh, play the first uh, free channel the second is the effect and the third parameter is we don't want to uh, repeat it okay I just copy this to the other collision function and it should work okay so I compile it and run it and whenever the ball hits this pedal it will give a sound I don't know how do you hear that because the my uh, uh, speaker is quite uh, far away from my mi microphone so yeah but believe me it, this sound is there although it is a little late and to speak the truth I don't really know why so it's hit now and the sound go at half second later the sound comes so I'm not really sure why is that happening but it does okay as you can see our basic uh, uh, game is ready and ready for use so actually there is a lot of work with it if you want to make it look a little bit more professional like you can add icons oh by the way I wanted to show you how to uh, add an icon okay so we have to make a new image that the last thing I, uh, I will do I will add the other things to you like the menus and other things so what do you want to make I just leave it to you I just want to show you this one thing so we add an icon like that to there okay so I just make simple something uh, some uh, thing okay for the icon I use a 32 by 32 image okay so for example make this little uh, beard smiley and save it as a BMP picture so we can load it okay call it the uh, icon.bmp never mind what you call it I call it icon.bmp and I save it inside the folder so the pong folder and uh, and I just load it oh frack it I uh, okay so just load it inside the main CPP so make a new SDL surface in uh, here call it icon 
okay and make this icon load it somewhere okay icon equals to uh, add, uh, it we have a load image already so load image actually load and then underscore image and we just give the name of it icon.bmp that's it so we just loaded an uh, image so we can use a function like sdlvm sdl is obviously what does it mean vm v v is mean window manager so which creates the window for you and use the set icon function set icon function has two parameter actually the first is the image so the surface this will be the icon and the second one is, a, is something called a mask uh, you don't want uh, i don't want to show you the mask for now so we can just simple press no it simple means there is no mask okay and the other thing is you can set sdlvm set caption i think that i showed you this the first parameter is the text what the name what uh, do you want to set the caption i want to set it the uh, pong game and the second parameter is another text you can uh, uh, some window manager has different uh, uh, title in the in here and in and when you minimize it it has a different title in the taskbar or what is it called never mind so because this window manager and actually all of the window manager i know has uh, so does the same thing so we just press no to the second parameter and now if i compile oh last thing we have to you know free the surface so sdl free surface icon okay that's it so if i now run the program oh i know what the problem is i forget this store so it's not a pointer so as you can see if there is not a pointer it will give errors like that so no matching pointer so i already know what the problem is if i if it has happened to me because i forget it a lot of time so i just put that star there and it should compile just fine and uh, and it is not work as it should be so oh i load the bmp which did not exist you see that's why it is a good idea to uh, make an error handling because you will immediately see that it is loaded an image which is not exist as you can see now it changed the icon to this weird icon and it changed the caption caption cap captain so this to pong game as you can see okay and in here in the taskbar too so that was it for this tutorial uh, tutorial uh, maybe I will continue later if I have uh, you know if i want so uh, we need a little more optimization and we need a menu and we need a top list and so on but not for now because this tutorial is quite long uh, already okay uh, then thank you for